Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Gigs. Let's continue with the module 2, Adaptations in Aquatic Plants. Aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living in water. They are also referred to as hydrophytes or macrophytes. Types of aquatic plants Aquatic plants are of three types. Fixed plants, floating plants, and underwater plants. Fixed plants. The roots of such plants are much reduced and are fixed to the mud at the bottom of the pond. The stems are long, hollow, light and flexible so that they can stay afloat and can bend easily with the waves of water and do not get broken or uprooted. Their leaves are broad and flat which help in staying afloat and to get enough air and sunlight for photosynthesis. Stomata are on the upper side of the leaves so that they can breathe easily. The leaves of the fixed plants have a waxy coating on the surface so that their water cannot stay on them. This prevents them from rotting or shriveling up. Some of the examples of fixed plants are water lily and lotus. Floating plants. These plants float freely in water. They are not fixed at the bottom of the water body, unlike fixed or underwater plants, but their roots just float below the water surface. These plants are able to float freely because they are small and lightweight due to number of empty spaces throughout their spongy body which is filled with air. These empty spaces provide them with buoyancy and makes it light in order for it to float freely on the water surface. The leaves have waxy coating preventing water from blocking the stomata. Some examples of floating plants are water hyacinth, duckweed and water lettuce. Underwater or submerged plants. Plants which remain completely submerged in water are called underwater or submerged plants. These plants have thin and narrow leaves with flexible stems to withstand water currents. Their roots are fixed to the bottom of the pond or water body. The leaves of underwater plants have no stomata at all. Instead, they breathe the dissolved oxygen through their body surface. Example of underwater plants are hydrilla. You can see that they have tiny leaves and tape grass. Their leaves are shaped ribbon-like. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. And don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.